Adobe Camera Raw is the easiest way to edit your images in Photoshop, especially if you have any experience with Lightroom. And today, we're going to show you how to use it. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today, we're jumping into Adobe Camera Raw. It's an often forgotten feature about Photoshop, but honestly, it's insanely powerful. It basically has all the functionality of Lightroom Editor built into Photoshop. Let's jump in, show you how to do it. First thing we're gonna do, let's go to our background layer and double click right here on the layer itself. It's gonna convert it to a regular new layer. Let's hit okay. It unlocks it, it makes it a regular layer. Now we want to convert this to a smart object so we can undo any of our changes and get back to Adobe Camera Raw at any time. Let's go up here to layer. We're going to go down to smart objects and over here to convert to smart object. Boom. You can see we have a little smart object icon here. We are good to go. So we're going to hit filter up at the very top. We're going to go right down to where we see camera raw filter and go ahead and click on that. Perfect. It's opened up our image in Camera Raw Filter, and as you're gonna see right here on the right-hand side, hey, this looks a lot like our Lightroom adjustments, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, all those things. Hey, we even have masking here in Adobe Camera Raw. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty much the exact same thing as your Lightroom editor built into Photoshop. So let's show you how to use it. I recommend starting here with the masking. There's so much you can do with masks. Let's go ahead and click there. We're gonna go ahead and start by clicking on Select Subject. Let's click on Select Subject, and then you can see our subject is selected. Now, in this case, it's selected a little bit of the pillow beside our subject. No big deal. We're going to go to subtract right over here. We have our mask. You can see it's selected our subject. We're going to subtract. And I'm going to say subtract with a brush. Now, let's go ahead and just paint right over here to subtract. There we go. Just painting that away. So now just our subject is selected. Okay. Now that our subject is selected, let's go right down over here. We're gonna just bring our exposure up just a little bit on our subject. Let's go ahead and bring up our shadows on our subject as well, just so we can see them a little bit more clearly. And I can turn this off or on. You can see we have our mask one. Just click on this eyeball. There's our before and after. Pretty cool. Now we can go a lot further with this. Let's go ahead and create a new mask here. Click on that. And we're gonna go down to our brush. In this case, I'm just going to paint right over here on the floor because it's a little bit too bright. Like it's drawing a lot of attention to this image and I really don't need that. So let's just go ahead and paint with our brush. You don't have to be super accurate here on the floor area. Fantastic. So we're going to go right down here and I'm going to take where it says highlights and we're just going to click that and drag that to the left. See that? It's going to draw a lot less attention to the floor. Let's just go ahead and bring our exposure down as well. And boy, that's looking a lot better. Let's just make that before and after. Boom, that's looking really good. Now, I want to add a little bit of a glow behind our subject. It's going to help us look more at the subject. Let's go ahead and create a new mask here. We're going to go to where it says radial gradient. Boom. Let's click and drag out from the center there. And now we're going to scroll right down here. I'm going to bring up our exposure. There we go. That's going to be right behind the subject. And you know what? We're going to bring in a little bit of warmth and a little bit of magenta as well. Spread some color. Now, if I go up here to my mask that I just made, this radial mask here, I click on this eyeball here. You can see, yeah, it looks like nice light behind our subject, but it's visible on top of our subject as well. You can see it's brightening up our subject. It's way too bright. So what we're going to do is subtract out our subject from this mask. So let's go ahead. Here we have our mask three. We have our radial gradient. We're going to go to subtract. There we go. And then we're just going to go to select subject. Boom. Subtract out our subject from this mask. And then all of a sudden, that's what the mask looks like here. You can see it's a glow behind the subject. And I can just turn this off and on at any time. Looking really good. Let's go ahead and create a new mask. We're going to go to a linear gradient this time. I'm going to click and drag from this area there. And we're just going to go ahead and bring the exposure down a little bit. There we go. Bring that exposure down. Let's do a new mask, another linear gradient coming from this side. Boom. Let's go ahead and grab our exposure and bring that down as well. Already we're looking so good. I want to do one more mask. Let's go ahead and create a new mask. We're going to go to select subject. I just want to brighten up my subject's face a little bit. So we're going to subtract out and we're going to use a brush. Subtract out, use a brush. Use my open and close brackets to make the brush a little bit larger or smaller. There we go. Basically, I just want this pretty much visible on our subject's face. Okay, just going to minus out a little bit of their hat. 
Fantastic. So you can see with my overlay, just their face is selected. We're going to go down here where it says exposure. Let's just bring that up just a little bit, just making their face a little bit brighter. Man, this is already looking so much better. Now, here where it says create new mask, we got a little eyeball over here, toggle visibility on all the masks. We'll just make that before and after. Look at that change we were able to make. It's looking so much better. Now, let's go ahead and hit OK. Right over here, it's going to apply this as a smart filter. So you can see this is, we're back in Photoshop. We have the option here. I can turn this off or on. We were able to do all of that editing on this layer. The layer is a smart object, which we made into a smart filter and then turn this camera raw. So there's a before and after. Basically, we just did a complete job of editing our photograph with one camera raw. Now, here's the cool thing. Because we made this a smart object, check out this smart object icon here. If I double click right here where it says camera raw filter, boom, just double click right there. I'm back into camera raw, okay? I've got my mask. Let's go ahead and click on our masking tool right over here. And I've got all of my masks are saved. So like that glow behind our subject, let's go ahead and click there. You know, maybe I want this glow to be a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna take my exposure and make that a little bit brighter behind my subject. Maybe, remember I made this mask six of just my subject's face. Maybe I want that to be a little bit brighter. Let's go ahead and take our highlights here and just bring that a little bit brighter too. Here we go. We'll bring our exposure up just a little bit of her face. Fantastic. Remember that floor selection I made earlier? This mask too. Let's go ahead and click there. Well, maybe we we'll want to just make that a little bit darker. Let's take this exposure and drag that down a little bit. And then you know what? I want to take the saturation and drag that down as well, just to draw a little bit less attention down there. Fantastic. All these things I can do. I have all of this information saved here. Okay, perfect. I can access it at any time. Let's hit okay. Reprocesses this and we're good to go. So all of my editing, I can turn this off and on. Of course, don't forget, just double click right here in your camera raw filter and you can get back to every single change you made. Just to make sure, super, 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 super important make it a smart object first. If you don't make it a smart object first, any changes you make in Camera Raw are gonna be just applied to the layer. You're not gonna be able to go back into Camera Raw and ask, access all those masks. So first smart object, super important, then Adobe Camera Raw for editing. If you're familiar with Lightroom, you're gonna be like, boom, this is basically the same thing. Amazing editing here in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Click on that subscribe button. We'll send you more free Photoshop tutorials. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.